What up, YouTube? I'm back. Let's talk about predator haps and what sort of African cichlids that you can keep with them. Stay tuned. This is Paul, the Inventory King. This is Mo from Mori's Aquariums. This is Adam C. And you're watching The Inquisitive Fish Guy. Let me tell you. All right, let's get you guys in front of the aquarium so that we can talk about predator haps and which fish that you can keep with them. One of the most asked questions in the hobby is what sort of fish that I can keep with which sort of fish? Predator haps, regular haps, common haps, imbuna haps, peacocks, blah, 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 you name it. But in my opinion, guys, when keeping predator haps, although it has been done, I would not recommend keeping imbuna or peacocks or anything like that. When these predator haps reach full size potential, that other fish is going to end up being dessert or dinner or something of that nature. There are some common haps that you can keep with these guys. Venustas is one of them. I have a Malochromas in here. This guy is fairly large. So there he is. Doesn't get picked on at all. But as far as little small imbuna or peacocks or just fish that are placid and not aggressive, I wouldn't advise keeping those in here with these predator half guys. Now, like I said in my exit, the opinion you follow should be your own. I'm just giving you guys a bit of my experience. As far as predator halves are concerned, these guys will get fairly large and the common rule of thumb is if it can fit in its mouth it will probably get eaten so just giving you guys a quick look at some of my fish and the 220 peacocks I really, I would really think twice before adding peacocks in as a permanent homestay with these predator haps. As you can see in one of Jay Wilson's latest vids, he actually rehomed a hap from his predator aquarium because it was getting picked on. And he put it into Mindy's peacock aquarium just so that it healed up. That's just an example of the risk you take when you're keeping these guys. You can go on YouTube, forums, Facebook, and you'll see plenty of videos of these predator haps swallowing peacocks and bunas and other fish. So I just wanted to have a brief conversation with you guys about predator haps and what should be kept with them. In my opinion, if you're going to do a predator tank, go all predators. If you're going to do a half and peacock tank, go all common haps and peacocks. But at the end of the day, it's your choice. All right, guys. That's my time. And remember, the opinion that you follow should be your own, since we take this video as a second opinion from a complete stranger online. And as always, until the next one, I F G P. The personal computer information on rap, like the BRZ my kisses, I make your toes tap. I format the rhymes step by step, make them sound deaf. To